momentous and happy occasion for all of us in the India Habitat Center family. As you can see, we are here in nearly full strength. Um, this is uh, uh, a, a great pleasure indeed to welcome you to the launch and discussion on a book written by uh, my predecessor's predecessor, Mr. Raj Lieberhan, who in fact was the director of the center for almost 20 years and can truly be said to have laid the foundations and systems for the center and uh, it's thanks to him, perhaps, that we have inherited a well-running, smoothly oiled machine, which benefits all of us. So uh, he's really, there's no words to express his uh, seminal contribution to establishing this center. And uh, my own predecessor, who was Mr. Libran's successor, Mr. Rakesh Kakkar, is also here, and I'm sure he would resoundingly echo my sentiments. Um, Mr. Liberan has been writing. Uh, he says that he's not really of a, uh, he says so in his book, he's not really of a writerly frame of mind, but because of the promptings of various people, he started writing. And this book is a collection of pieces he has written in various publications and online as well. And uh, it's a really a great joy that he has decided to share these writings in a collected form. Uh, writings on societal issues, on economics, on governance issues, on urban issues, which he is very well versed in because he has experience of the government, he has experience of the uh, NGO sector, he has experience of the public sector. So there could be nobody better than him to give an all-round view of many of the issues he talks about. He talks uh, from his heart, I might say, and he has a knack for the telling phrase, particularly his first sentences of his articles are uh, sentences which completely suck you in because they are so beautifully written. I'm going to give you just one instance, and this is from the preface. For instance, what do you say when you read this? You have to go on reading, right? Moments do not stay. It is in the nature of time to go on. Thoughts of those moments do get formed into words, and these stay in personal collections or publications. And that is what this publication is about. I won't say anything very much more except to welcome everybody here. and gentlemen, the delight to be here. It's really a joy to be in the midst of all of you on this personal occasion. And uh, as Mr. Narendra Kumar said, it all started with an introductory meeting with Mr. Narendra Kumar some years ago. Uh, it was a little over two years and he did most of the talking trying to convince me to write a book about habitat. And my time here, which was uh, a good number of years, I promised him that I will try and for the life of me, I haven't really found enough material for writing a book about habitat, although God knows it certainly deserves one. Surely the making of it in the mountains it had to climb in getting where it did. Anyways, after the conversation, I kind of carried the load of this promise and so much so that I stopped going to India International Center for fear of bumping into Mr. Narendra Kumar and uh, being asked about this elusive book uh, I was supposed to write. Sometimes towards the middle of last year, I did meet him only to be reminded uh, vociferously and I solemnly undertook to finish a book by September, October end. Well, here I am sort of feeling relieved at the redemption of my promise. Yes, the overwhelming, overwhelming sentiment is one of relief. Now I can go back to my leisure time after this. A book which uh, really uh, encapsulates uh, the experience that uh, he has had, very rich experience that he has had, uh, both within government but uh, also uh, outside government in, um, in the uh, NGO, uh, NGO field. 
to be both an insider and outsider is uh, not a very easy uh, task. Um, to be able to see uh, issues from the perspective of uh, a being a government official and then to be able to go to the other side and uh, see it from another perspective. Uh, this is something uh, which uh, not all of us, uh, unfortunately, are able to do. So congratulations, uh, Raj. Uh, this is really a very fine book. And it comes at a time where I think uh, we are, in fact, uh, very much concerned about um, issues of uh, governance. Uh, many of the chapters in this uh, book, uh, in fact, uh, deal with uh, some of the most uh, topical and very urgent issues of our uh, time. Uh, first, of course, our cities have been growing. Uh, cities have always been the center of civilizations as it has grown and came up where it was appropriate, near water bodies, near river banks, and they grew. And of course, we've had the tradition of having places like Monjadaro, and as I've said sometimes, I wish we had those urban planners here because they knew how to separate the drainage from the water supply and had laid down stuff which we seem to have somehow lost the art now. Uh, but cities have continued to grow and uh, Delhi itself is estimated to have 20 million people. If I count the agglomeration, the Delhi agglomeration, the NCR roughly, with 30 million people living in such a concentrated dense area. And then you begin to see all the problems, party infrastructure, and then the consequences of high migration from the urban-rural imbalance which we have created in this country, as indeed many countries have, which where cities act as a magnet for economic growth of individuals. They find cities much more amenable not only to earning a better income, but often breaking out of repressive and oppressive social structures. City. I think... Uh you know, he said so much about the book. When I was when I was going through the advanced copy that was sent to me, I sort of thought about as as an economist. I was thinking, geez, I mean, there is not a single number uh, in this book. There are. I mean, give me, grant me poetic license. Uh, there is not a single equation. There is no sort of numbers. There are some numbers, some percentage, but you know, there are about forty odd articles, and uh, there is. Uh, so, but the arguments are so compelling, I think, as, as people have said, I mean, it, it sort of compels you to read and persuades you to read. So I read, I mean, I started reading it and I read it sort of non-stop, uh, the entire book. And, you know, uh, uh, I started reading because, you know, I knew Lars Liberhan from the days that I had come to Ikria. I really enjoyed those Wednesday club meetings uh, in the sixth floor office of, of the Habitat Center, which many of you attended. They were really sort of intellectually stimulating, discussed so many issues uh, around the time. I remember that, you know, uh, a part, part of what Ikria does today, which is continued by Sunit, which was continued by Rakesh Kakkar, uh, but started by uh, Raj Liberhan was the conversations in urbanization series, which happens in this very room uh, and many of you have spoken in those series in that series and that really reflects on many of the governance issues many of the city level issues that we have spoken about and I think we will continue to speak about